Greetings from the Theme Rex team. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make a pop up on your WordPress website. Let's see how we can do it. We'll use the pop up maker of the Query WordPress theme to make different types of pop ups on our website. This is one of the best pop up add ons for the Query theme that you can use. So if you have Query theme installed on your WordPress website, then from the left side menu, click on Settings and then click on Pop ups. Here you will see all the pop-ups that you have ever created on your WordPress website. First, let's check out the pop-up settings. From the top, we are going to click on Add New. Here you will see all the settings that you can use to create custom pop-ups for your WordPress website. Let's explore all the pop-up settings. At first, we have the General tab, and here we have different options. For example, Type. We can use this option to select a type of pop-up. We can set it to contact box, notification box, or notification bar. After that, we have the location option. It defines where we want our pop-up to be displayed. We can set it to center, left, right, or anywhere else on the page using this location option. We also have a preview image option, and we can change it according to your own choice. After that, we have a limit display option, and it is one of the most important options. It means how many times you want to display this pop-up to a particular user. You can add any number here. We want to display our pop-up only two times to one user, so we are going to add two. After that, we have another option, Limit Display Cache Lifetime. Currently, it is set to 30, which means that after displaying our pop-up two times as we've selected, the user will not see the pop-up for the next 30 days. Of course, you can set the cache lifetime according to your own choice. You can show your pop-up to guest users, logged in users, or both guest and logged in users. After that, we have the display rules tab. You can show this pop-up on the entire website, or you can show it on particular pages or posts, so this option is also extremely useful. After that, we have the triggers option, like upon which event you want your pop-up to be opened. We also have different options for this to choose from. When you select any option, below, you will see different values based on the option you've selected. Next, we have the trigger close pop-up option, like how you want your pop-up to be closed. We also have different options for it. After that, we have the Style tab. You can set the Open Animation and Exit Animation here. Also, you can change the Content Box Width from here. Next, you can select a Light Close button if you want, and then you can display an overlay as well. And lastly, we have the Advanced tab. Using this tab, you can disable the pop-up on mobile, you can disable scrolling on the body, click overlay to close the pop-up, or set your pop-up to be closed by pressing the escape key. Also, you can close your pop-up with the help of the F4 key if you want to. So these are the settings of the query theme pop-up maker. Now we are going to make three different types of pop-ups using this pop-up maker. At first, we are going to create a pop-up with the contact form 7 form then a video pop-up, and after that, we'll create a pop-up with the banner. To create a pop-up in the query theme, first, we are going to create a layout, and then we will add that layout here. There are multiple ways to create a pop-up, but this one is one of the easiest ways. We will go back to our WordPress website dashboard, and here we will click on Layouts, and then click on Add New. Let's give it a name. After that, from the top, just click on Publish. Now we will edit this pop-up with Elementor. So click on Edit with Elementor. Now we are going to add a new container here. Let's click on this plus button. After that, we are going to select Flexbox from here and select this first layout. 
Now we will change this container width to full width and then click on Advanced. Then we'll need to change its padding. Add 50 for the top, 20 for the right, 20 for the bottom, and 20 for the left. Now, we are going to click on this plus button and add a title to our page. We will change its text to contact us and delete the subtitle and description. We will set 25 for the title font size. Click on the cube search for contact form 7 and drag this widget to the page. Now we'll select our contact form 7 form. Our form is now added to the bottom. We'll click on Update. We have successfully created a layout for our contact form pop-up. And now we'll create a pop-up for our contact form and add this layout there. It is super easy to add this layout here. We will go to our WordPress website dashboard and then from the left menu, we are going to hover over settings and then pop-ups. Now from the top, we are going to click on add new, give it a name. After that, click on this plus button, search for layouts, and then select layouts. Now from the right menu, we will select the layout that we have created for our contact form 7 pop-up. This is the layout that we have created, so we will select it. And here we will see the layout that we have created in Elementor. We have successfully added our layout to the pop-up maker. Let's customize its settings. We will scroll down to the bottom. We'll leave the general tab as it is. After that, we'll click on Display Rules. From here, we'll select Specific Pages. Then, we'll click on Add New Rule. Now, select Pages from here. After that, we are going to click on Triggers. We have multiple options to open our pop-up, but for this Contact Form 7 pop-up, we want to open our pop-up with the button click. So from the Triggers, we'll select Manual Launch. Now we need to add a CSS selector. So for the CSS selector, we'll add Manual Launch 3. After that, from the top, Click on Update. Now we'll go to our page, add a new button, and after that we are going to make it launch on a button click. So we'll click on Pages. We are going to edit the page with Elementor. After that, we'll search for a button and add this second button to our page. At first, we are going to set its alignment to center. Now we'll click on the button and scroll down, and here we will see an option, CSS ID. So we'll paste our CSS selector here that we have added in the manual launch of the pop-up setting. After that, we'll remove this hash from here and then click on Update. As for the button name, we'll set it to Learn More. After that, we are going to again click on Update. Now if I view my page and click on this Learn More button, our pop-up is now opened on the button click. Let's try it again. We'll close it from here and then click on Learn More again. As you can see, Again, our pop-up is opened with the button click. Let's see how to create a video pop-up for our WordPress website. We will go to the WordPress website dashboard, hover over Layouts, and then click on Add New. Now, we are going to give it a name, and then we will publish it.
Click Edit with Elementor. Add a container, click on the plus button, and then click on Flexbox. Select the default container and change its width to full width. Now click on Advanced and uncheck this Link Values Together. Then, we are going to click on this plus button and search for the video. Drag this video widget to the page and instead of YouTube, we will select Self-Hosted. If you want, you can go with YouTube, Vimeo, or any other video platform. After that, we are going to choose our video file and then click on Select. Great! We have successfully added our video. Now select the container, click on Advanced, and then add Padding 20 on all sides. So we have created our video layout. Click on Update. Now we will create a pop-up and then add this layout to that pop-up. So we will go to the WordPress website dashboard and then click on Settings and then Pop-ups. Click on Add New. Give it a name. After that, click on this plus button, select Layouts, and then select the video pop-up layout from the right menu. So, now we have added the layout that we have created using Elementor, and then we will do the other settings for this pop-up. We will scroll down to the bottom. We will keep these settings, and then we will select Display Rules. Now we'll select Specific Pages. I want to display it only on the home page, so I'll click on Add New Rule. Now we'll select Pages, and then I'll search for Home and select My Home Page. After that, we'll click on Triggers, and from here, we'll select Time Delay. And for the time, we will select 3 seconds. Now we'll click on Style, and we'll change the content box width to 768 pixels. After that, from the top, we'll click on Publish. Now if I visit my website homepage, after three seconds, we will see the video pop-up that we have added to our website. Users can view the video from here, and after that, they can close it from here. Now we'll create a pop-up with the banner. From the WordPress website dashboard, click on Layouts, and then click on Add New, give it a name, and then click on Publish. Now click on Edit with Elementor. First, add a new container, click on this plus button, and then click on Flexbox. We'll select two columns, Flexbox container. After that, we'll change its width to full width. Then we'll click on Advanced and remove its default padding. Now in the first column, we are going to add our image, and in the second column, we are going to add our heading and text. We'll use the image as a background image. Let's select the column and then click on Style. Now we'll select this background type to Classic. After that, let's select our image. Now we'll click on the plus button, search for spacer, and drag it to our page. Then we will change its value to 500 pixels. After that, again we will select this container for the image display size. We will set it to Cover, and for the position, we will set it to Center, Center. Now we have added our image and a spacer, and after that, we'll add our text. From the top, 
we'll click on this cube button, search for the title, and drag it to our page. Now we'll change the title text. After that, we will change the description and the subtitle. Now we will add a button. We are going to click on this cube and search for the button. We will drag this button widget to our page. For the button text, we will change it to Buy Now. For the size, we will change it to small. After that, we will select this container. And from the Justify content, we will select Center. From the Align items, we will also select Center. Our button alignment is also changed according to the container direction. We will select the button and add a custom margin. Let's add a custom margin from the right side. and both the heading and button are now aligned. Excellent. We have created a layout for our banner. Now from the bottom, we'll click on Update and add this banner to our pop-up. From the WordPress dashboard, we are going to click on Settings and then Pop-ups. Now from the top, we are going to click on Add New. Give it a name. After that, we'll click on this plus button and then select Layouts from here. Then from the right menu, we'll select our layout. Let's select the layout that we have created using Elementor. Good. We have added our layout to the pop-up. And now we will do the pop-up settings. Let's click on Display Rules. I want to display this pop-up on the Contact Us page. Therefore, I will select the Specific Pages option. After that, I will click on Add New Rule. Now, from here, we will select Pages. And after that, we will select Contact Page. After selecting the Display Rules, we'll click on Triggers. I want to display this pop-up when a user is about to leave the page, and I also want to display it as a sales pop-up. So from the trigger open pop-up, I will select Exit Intent. Now we'll click on the style, and for the content box width, I will set it to 800 pixels. After that, from the top, we'll click on Publish. Great! Our pop-up is published. Now let's check out how our pop-up shows up. We will go to our WordPress website, and then we will click on this contact page. Now let's try to close this page. So when I move the mouse up toward the close button, we can see the pop-up that we have created. You can also customize it according to your own choice. You can change its display settings, you can change triggers, and you can change the text according to your goals. Pop-ups are flexible and customizable. This is how you can create different types of pop-ups using the pop-up maker in the query theme. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next videos.